Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Tuesday, July 23rd. Tonight we have a report on charges of child molestation filed against a former Othello elementary teacher and how Efrata is proposing new taxes to pay for city programs. This will look at how a man found his stolen truck and how the government decided that to save spotted owls, they should shoot other owls. In sports, the Mariners made it seven in a row after last night's win, and Major League Baseball has suspended one of the league's top players for the remainder of the season. Our spotlight story tonight is about how some people in Moses Lake raised more than $100,000 to battle cancer through the Relay for Life. And we've got the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, a former Othello school teacher reportedly admitted to having an inappropriate relationship with a 10-year-old male student. Prosecutors charged 48-year-old Lisa Davis with child molestation in the first degree in Adams County Superior Court. Davis, the alleged victim's reading teacher at Scutney Elementary School, spent a lot of time with her male student. The alleged relationship lasted from late 2012 into 2013. The victim allegedly said they engaged in inappropriate behavior, which Othello police investigators claim were the two kissing and her touching his genitals. The alleged incidents happened in the classroom and at a home belonging to a friend of Davis. She reportedly admitted to her family she participated in the inappropriate behavior with her students, saying there were two or three incidents. Davis resigned her position with the school district on June 18th, and it was accepted on June 24th. She is not currently in custody. Efray residents face paying more taxes to the city. A proposed tax plan is aimed at funding police, fire, street maintenance, and parks through a series of voter-approved taxes. You'll have a few chances to voice your opinion about a proposed set of tax increases. The first is during the city council meeting on August 7th at 7 p.m. at Efrata City Hall located at 121 Alder Street Southwest. The plan calls for a proposed one-tenth of 1 percent sales tax increase to be placed on the November 2014 ballot. A second tax increase would be a voter approved property tax bond. Another tax could begin after a November 2016 election with the creation of a transportation benefit district to add a $20 fee to vehicle registrations. The final tax would need, a, would need approval during a, the election in November 2017 to create a Metropolitan Parks District. City Administrator Wes Crago said, the whole point of this is to engage the community. It's to give the community as many options as possible in talking about what we need to make our community look and be a certain way and what are the costs associated with it. To learn more about the proposed tax increases, and what the money will be used for, you can visit us online at ifiber1.com slash news. A Quincy area farmer took matters into his own hands to find a stolen dump truck. Kevin Weber of Weber Farms reportedly pointed deputies to the location of his stolen vehicle after spotting it while flying his airplane in the Grand Coulee area. Weber reported his 1997 Peterbilt dump truck and pup trailer missing last uh, Thursday morning after they were taken from his farm. The Sheriff's Office publicized Weber's offer of $2,500 for information on the vehicles and the person responsible for the theft. On Saturday morning, Weber went out to search for his vehicle and found, found it in a rural area in Lincoln County near Grand Coulee and alerted the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. 
The property owner, 30-year-old Grand Cooley man Kevin Heeb, was booked into Lincoln County Jail on charges related to the theft. Deputies suspect he was attempting to dismantle and obscure the stolen property from view. Each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after these messages with the latest from the iFiber One Weather Center, and we've got sports and more news on the way.